Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard. I'm going to talk to you today about the processed nature of most of the vegetable oils and cooking oils you use in your household. You know, if you go to the grocery store, health food store, you're going to see oils in clear bottles. This means that the oil has been processed so much and so extensively that there's literally no nutrients left in that oil to go rancid. It's a very stable oil. In the old days, they had uh, people who would grind the oils in dark rooms and put them in amber bottles and deliver them like milk around the neighborhood because if they didn't deliver them on a regular basis, they would go bad. Oil is extremely volatile. Natural oils are very volatile. Even just one photon of light will actually create a train re chain reaction in the oil of rancidity and damage the oil. If it's heated anything over 125 degrees, the oil will go rancid. Most of these oils are heated again and again and again, and they have been processed so much that all the nutrition has been taken out, and you're left with a very stable oil that is undigestible and congests your liver and raises cholesterol and, and increases the risk of heart disease. Not to mention the fact that when your liver gets congested, your bile can't flow and your bile can't flow, your ability to metabolize fats and detoxify is compromised. The body's stomach acid will not be produced if there isn't adequate bile. So your ability to cook hard to digest foods like dairy and soy and nuts and grains and, and things like that and, and, and gluten are going to be compromised significantly. So many of our digestive issues aren't that the foods are necessarily bad, is that we have lost our ability to digest them. And that can be due to years and years of slowly accumulating these oils in our bloodstream, in our arteries, and in our liver, and that compromises our digestion. So please beware. Their process of these oils I'd like to take you through what happens to a seed and what it goes through to become an oil on the grocery uh, food store shelf. The oil is first ground and cleaned and in the grinding process there's friction which increases heat over 125 degrees and bam it's rancid. Secondly it's cold pressed. There's nothing cold about most cold presses. They heat the oil up over 200 degrees because of the friction and they again produce rancidity. Most oils, seeds, oils, vegetable oils don't extract only through cold pressing well. So therefore they have to be solvent extracted and they use hexane to extract the oils out of the oil cake, which is a toxic process that in the hexane gets, gets, uh, gets get either evaporated or distilled off, but still it's been exposed to hexane. Then it's refined to get rid of the color and the odor and the bitterness. And that's heated up to 188 or so degrees. And now we have an issue where the oil is still very light sensitive, so they bleach it and they take out all the pigments so it can sit on your health food store shelf, be exposed to light, no worries at all, it'll stay stable. In the process of being heated so many times, it actually creates so much free radical damage and rancidity that the oil smells terrible. So they must deodorize it and they heat it up to over 400 degrees. And in that process, it cleans out every last bit of nutrition, every last vitamin or mineral and constituent that's beneficial in the oil and that's been pulled out. And now you have this incredible stable oil on the shelf. When you go to a restaurant, most of the time they're cooked in these canola or saffron or safflower of highly processed oils, bakeries. Most of the conventional restaurants uh, use these oils. So please take the clear bottles out of your house. Be aware of when you're going eating out that you're probably being exposed to some of these oils. And of course, there's not a lot we can do about all that exposure, but it's the cumulative exposure that takes us out and we want to do the very best we can to eat whole foods, natural foods that haven't been cooked in these highly processed oils. Oils you should be using if you want vegetable oil or vegetable or seed oils should be labeled unrefined. You find them in the refrigerated section in your grocery store. They are heated, never heated, and they are never exposed to light. Uh, and that's the oil that you can use. They're not to be cooked because they're very, very volatile. Olive oil is the one oil that is actually tolerant to light, but not tolerant to heat. So you don't want to cook with olive oil. The only oils that you want to cook with are coconut oil, a lot of the tropical oils like, like uh, palm kernel or palm oil, and butter, a little bit of butter and ghee are actually okay and tolerant to the heat. 
Otherwise, olive oil on your salads, these vegetable oils can be taken at room temperature or refrigerated. There's no problem with that, but please be aware of any oil that's sold in a clear bottle. Please read the article associated with this video where I go into detail into this process. And thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.